new and amazing update by the Klein, formerly known as Cloud Dev Team, flawless integration and building of MCP servers via your VS Code Klein extension. This is going to be a very short one. I wasn't planning to record this video, but since this uh, new feature is so mind blowing and you guys that have been following me for a while knows that I'm in love with this project. I wanted to record this short video about this powerful new feature. So um, the update, you can see the update in the client discord, which I highly recommend that you check it out if you're not a member there. It's one of the best discord groups, in my opinion, uh, full of um, supportive people, but more important, a lot of great ideas, a lot of innovation, a lot of knowledge sharing. Um, this was the recent update by Saud, the founder of Klein. Basically, he says that Klein can now create and add tools to himself using MCP. For those of you who don't know what is MCP, we will cover this in, in a moment. Basically, a Klein handles everything from creating the MCP to installing it, and it can also generate MCPs, custom MCPs. Now, let's cover what is an MCP because it's very relevant and important. And afterwards, I will show you a, a few examples of MCP installations that I did using Klein. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's basically, uh, and it was published by the Anthropic team, it's basically um, a collection of reference implementations for the Model Complex Protocol. This is the repo. Basically, the servers in the repository showcase the versatility and extensibility of MCP demonstrating how it can be used to give large language models secure control access to tools and data sources. Each MCP server is implemented with either, this is a, a bit technical, but the gist is that you can build your own tools or servers. And basically then you can use, for example, the cloud app in order to interact with these servers. So as an example, I've built a GitHub MCP, which means that I can connect via secured connection to my GitHub repository via my cloud, my cloud app, and I can interact with it. And you can see here, I will show you an example. Can you please tell me all the repos I have in my GitHub? So it will now use my MCP server, my GitHub MCP server, and it will list all the repositories that I have. I need to allow this. And then I can interact with these repositories, make changes, etc. Other services that you can build is a Brave Search, for example. You can interact with your files securely, like your local files. You can interact with Google Drive, the possibilities are endless with uh, memories with, like knowledge-based uh, graph, uh, Puppeteer, which is very relevant for browser automation. There are also like third parties um, and community servers such as Playwright for um, browser automation. And I, I already installed it and I will show you it in a moment. So in this repository, you can see all the alternatives of the servers. I highly recommend that you just check them out and see which uh, servers might be relevant for you. After you decided what might be relevant for you, you need to go to VS Code or any IDE that you're using. Go to the marketplace and install client or update so you will be exposed to the new feature. Uh, once you have the new version, you will see here this icon which shows the MCP servers. And over here, you can see all the MPC, M, MCP servers that you have installed and their status and the relevant tools. So for example, I installed the Playwright MCP server, which allows to do many different browser automations. And over here, I can see also all the tools that are related. So you can take a screenshot of a website. You can uh, get text, so scraping, you can click elements, etc. So let's assume that I want to install the Playwright MCP server. 
which I actually did. So what I did, I just came here. Let's go to the beginning of the conversation. This is installing the Brave. Okay, now I asked it, can you help me with Playwright MCP? And then he said, I'll create a new MCP server for Playwright that will provide tools for browser automation. First, I need to do the following. So it basically created the new server project. Then it installed the dependencies and then it added everything to my um, cloud desktop app, which if you don't have the cloud desktop app, I uh, highly recommend that you download it from the official Anthropic website. And then you need to reopen your um, cloud app and you can start interacting with your different servers. By the way, if you're not sure if the server was installed correctly, you can either ask Claude or you can come here, see the status, or you can come in your app to your developer and open the MCP logs. It's just a, a TXT file. It will open in your notepad and you will see all the servers, but we can just very easily check this. So for example, can you tell me um, can you take a screenshot, take a screenshot of prompt super fast, which is a web app that I've built. And now it's supposed to use either Puppeteer, which is an MCP server that I built, or Playwright, which is another MCP server that I installed and I showed you a moment ago. So run Puppeteer, navigate from Puppeteer. I'm going to allow this. Uh, this use of this tool so it failed to do so probably because let's see now it's launching with playwright it's supposed to work i just did like a test before recording the video and it worked flawlessly but you know how it is always when you go live things can get a bit messy but let's see What is doing? I'm Claude. How can I help? Okay. Probably f it seems like it's for an error. Use Playwright MCP to take a screenshot of prompt superfast.com. It's supposed to work now. Fail to call the puppeteer navigate. Okay, let's see. I think there is an issue with the fact that Puppeteer is also installed and it's supposed to use the Playwright implementation. Let's close this. And we can debug live. Seems. It seems like there's an error with the Playwright MCP. I think it's related to the fact that I also have a Puppeteer MCP. Can you check this? I love using this uh, voice typing. Although sometimes it's a bit in incorrect, but I guess it will understand that this is, isn't an arrow, it's an error. It doesn't understand my uh, Hebrew, my Israeli accent. Yes, I see that the cloud, let's see. I see that in the cloud desktop config, there's both Puppeteer MCP and our Playwright MCP, which might cause conflict since they both handle browser automation. Let me check the configuration. We should remove one of them. Since Puppeteer is already set up as an official MCP, let's remove our custom Playwright. No, let's remove the puppeteer. I want to keep using the playwright one. As you can see here, it's updating the MCP. Hopefully it will work. It's supposed to work just fine. If not, we will come conclude the video because this isn't like the the main focus of the video it's not a video about debugging or using client for debugging but i just wanted to share with you guys this new feature of installing mcps and it worked 
very well before the recording. I removed the... Okay. Cool. Let's restart the cloud app. See what happens now. Can you use the playwright MCP and take a screen shot of prompt super fast.com? Supposed to work now. If not, we will start concluding. Approve this. this okay I've taken a full screenshot and saved it as pump super fast can you Tell me where did you save this? Where did you save? I think it's bluffing, so I want to make sure. He's checking because he has access to some of my local files using a different MCP. Let me try to search for the file to make sure. I think you won't find it, but uh, it's cool. Uh, the reason why you might not find it because I only gave him with the uh, the MCP server of the local files. I only I restricted it to only one folder because I, I didn't want it to take over my computer. So I'm guessing there might be an issue over here. Let's do something else. Never mind. I think I will start concluding because I don't want to divert. I mean, the main subject of this video was to show, share with you guys the new update about the MCP servers. I don't want to be the, the video to be too focused on this debugging. So I will solve this on my own if it's going to be a, an interesting debugging process. So I, I'll upload another video about this. Uh, otherwise, I hope guys that you enjoyed this video. I highly recommend that if you didn't don't use Klein yet, that you install Klein and check this out. Uh, also, make sure to learn more about MCPs because MCPs are very very powerful, and they are. I mean, they the MCPs. I think they are more one of the most powerful innovations in the last month or so. So obviously, um, OpenAI had something kind of similar for a while now, but this was published by the Anthropic team and it's very, very important in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. A bit messy today. The video was a bit messy, but um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please leave your um, criticism or ideas and feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, obviously like and subscribe if you didn't yet. And until next time, keep on automating.